all right, all right, calm down. If you're a guy, and especially if you call yourself a nice guy, and you saw the title of this and it triggered you, then this video is definitely for you. You've probably been dumped and or friend zoned because of your niceness. And I'm going to explain the real reason why women can't stand a nice guy and what you can do about it. Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. And welcome back, No Contact Army. Have you been a good little soldier? If you have, then you've downloaded my app, Silencio. The link is underneath every single video and podcast. And if you too would like to join our No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before you purchase the book. Okay, so years ago, I wrote an article which went viral titled 12 Reasons Women Can't Stand Nice Guys. As of today, it has over 26,000 shares. So I don't know how many people viewed it, but it's probably close to a million because people don't often share videos or articles. However, if you look for that article today, you're actually not going to find it on the site that I posted it on because they repurposed it and they changed the title to 12 reasons, 12 brutally honest reasons nice guys finish last. Not quite the same article or not quite the same title. Plus they added stuff to the article. So that's not my original article. You can actually read it on my website, theartoflove.net. And it had a huge reaction. Guys were not very happy with me, <laughs> but hey, you know what I always say, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. So when people, and namely women, talk about nice guys and the fact that they're not attracted to them, they usually use words like, well, they don't have boundaries, they're doormats, they're people pleasers, and that's all true. However, these are all secondary reasons as to women, as to why women are not attracted to nice guys. There is one reason why guys behave like this and in turn women are turned off, and that is because of their attachment style. Nice guys, also known as betas, have an anxious attachment style. That, that's what is driving their behavior. So. I'm going to go over some of the points that I made in the original article and tie this into an anxious attachment style. I'm not going to give all 12 reasons. If you want to read my original article, like I said, go to my website, theartoflove.net. So first, let's define what an anxious attachment style means. And I got this definition from Adam Lane Smith, who specializes in attachment styles. I highly recommend you check out his channel. I'll put the link below. And he says, it's the belief that there's something inherently wrong with you, which makes you unlovable. So let's go over some of my reasons, which I keep teasing you about. And let me preface this by saying that these reasons that I wrote, I wrote them instinctually as a woman looking at nice guys and why they turned me off. At that time, I did not know anything about attachment styles. And now reading back on the reason, I can see that they are all because the guys had an anxious attachment style. So reading my first point, I said, not real. Nice guys are too nice. No one can always be that nice unless they're a saint. They're busy being nice instead of being real and women instinctually don't trust that. Bad boys keep it real. Nice guys don't want to upset the apple cart. So they're not real because they feel unlovable. And then they feel they need to earn approval and they will be over eager to please. And they don't want to upset, as I said, the apple cart. So they'll tiptoe around and not be their true selves, thinking that it's going to turn women off. So they wear this mask. However, 
it's exhausting to constantly have this mask up. At some point, the mask comes down and then the truth comes out. And women can feel the energy difference between someone who is being real and someone who's just trying to earn approval. That mask is not sustainable. And that's when things fall apart. If they haven't already fallen apart because the woman sensed that they weren't being authentic. Women want authenticity, not niceness. Although you can certainly be nice while you're being authentic, but you cannot be authentic if your only goal is to be nice. The second point I made was that no one respects a doormat. Nice guys don't set boundaries or make any real demands. A bad boy doesn't let a woman walk all over him or control him. Women can't res respect a man they can control. No respect equals no attraction equals friend zoned. So again, this, try, uh, this comes from trying to be safe and to please mommy. Otherwise, they fear they'll be abandoned. And while being abandoned when they were a child would have led to dire consequences, possibly even death, that's no longer the case because you no longer have to rely on your parents 100% for your survival. But you're still stuck in that childhood mentality of thinking you'll be abandoned and therefore you won't survive and therefore you must do whatever you can to keep this person around. And by the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please give it a like so we can help more people find the video and we can help more anxious slash nice guys become more secure. Okay, the next point I made was called sperm wars. Women are designed to procreate with the strongest possible genes. Bad boys are sending an unconscious message that they have great genes, so they're not afraid of losing the woman by misbehaving. Nice guys are sending a message that they don't think their genes are good enough, so they won't misbehave. So this one was quite clear and concise. Women are looking for the best genes to reproduce with, and if you're not being authentic, and you're a doormat, and you don't have boundaries, on a subconscious level, it comes across as weak genes and women will not want to reproduce with you. So therefore, why would they date you? Right? Okay, the next one is charm. Nice guys don't always know what to say and are sometimes at a loss for words. Bad boys can be very charming and know exactly what women want to hear. However, they eventually switch over to being selfish. By the time they reveal their true colors, the woman has fallen hard for them and had a hard time letting go. So first the bad boys attract them with their charm, and then when they drop the charm, the women are already attached and they have a hard time letting go, as I said. So this goes back to the fact that the nice guy is not being genuine, and therefore they don't always know what to say because they're watching their every word and every action so that they won't be abandoned. Nice guys are seeking validation because they feel that if they get validation, that means they're lovable. So instead of being outward focused, which is what makes someone charming, they are inward focused in their attempt to get the validation they so desperately desire. Whereas the bad boys, they're not looking for validation. They, they give it to themselves. And then one last one I'm going to mention is protection. And in the article I wrote, historically, men have protected women, physically and otherwise. Bad boys give the illusion of being able to protect women, while with nice guys, women aren't so sure. So this comes down to confidence. Bad boys project an air of confidence, and therefore, the woman feels that this man will be able to protect, whereas with the nice guy, since he's busy being a doormat and not establishing boundaries, he doesn't come across as being able to protect and therefore women are turned off. So I've given you five of the 12 reasons. You can, read, uh, you can read the remaining seven, as I said, on my website, theartoflove.net. So if you're listening to this and you're like, oh no, what am I going to do? I'm a nice guy. I have a, an anxious attachment style. Well, don't worry. Why not? Well, because it can be fixed since it's a learned behavior from your childhood. You're no longer a child, and while you're not responsible for the attachment style that you have, as an adult, you are responsible for fixing it and becoming more secure. And for that, as I mentioned earlier, I would suggest 
checking out Adam Lane Smith's channel and I'll put the link below. So now I want to hear from you. Do you have an anxious attachment attachment style or have you dated someone with an anxious attachment style and how did it turn out? And in the meantime, if you would like my help to get your ex back, you can contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. The direct link is below every single video and podcast. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.